Our Channel 5, we're going to have complete highlights of President Reagan's speech to the nation tonight. The President outlined the new United States formula for peace in the Middle East. Mr. Reagan's address came after Defense Secretary Casper Weinberger arrived in Beirut, Lebanon. Weinberger is in Tel Aviv tonight, where he'll be discussing the new U.S. policy with Israeli leaders. Jojo Giorgiani, the convicted rapist, was ordered back to jail today. The judge reversed an earlier decision that prompted a public outcry. Closer to home, Orange County firefighters have now controlled a 600-acre brush blaze. An arson investigation is now on way to that fire that threatened homes at one time earlier today. Well, you've heard of the running of the bulls, but well, what next is the running of the pigs in the Spanish marketplace? It's all coming up next on News at 10. Solution deep in the carpet. 
puts out 25% more carpet dirt than it ever did before. Now that's clean. Only HR has the vibrating bar. Check it out. Golden West Broadcasters for Los Angeles. Channel 5, KTLA. In the aftermath of the settlement in Lebanon, we now face an opportunity for a broader peace. This time, we must not let it slip from our grasp. We must look beyond the difficulties and obstacles of the present and move with fairness and resolve toward a brighter future. We owe it to ourselves and to posterity to do no less. Channel 5, News at 10, the number one prime time news hour in Los Angeles. Now, Emmy Award winning Hal Fishman, Debbie Davison, Larry McCormick, Joe Butina with sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. Good evening. President Reagan flew into Burbank from a Santa Barbara ranch for a nationwide television address tonight. Mr. Reagan called for a fresh start or the goal of lasting peace in the Middle East. At the heart of the president's new plan is Palestinian autonomy in association with Jordan in the Israeli-occupied West Bank and Gaza Strip. He called for a five-year transition period. The period would allow free elections held by the Palestinians in the area. Here's how the president put it earlier tonight. I want to make the American position well understood. The purpose of this transitional period is the peaceful and orderly transfer of authority from Israel to the Palestinian inhabitants of the West Bank and Gaza. At the same time, such a transfer must not interfere with Israel's security requirements. Beyond the transition period, as we look to the future of the West Bank and Gaza, it is clear to me that peace cannot be achieved by the formation of an independent Palestinian state in those territories. Nor is it achievable on the basis of Israeli sovereignty or permanent control over the West Bank and Gaza. So the United States will not support the establishment of an independent Palestinian state in the West Bank and Gaza. And we will not support annexation or permanent control by Israel. There is, however, another way to peace. The final status of these lands must, of course, be reached through the give and take of negotiations. But it is the firm view of the United States that self-government by the Palestinians of the West Bank and Gaza, in association with Jordan, offers the best chance for a durable, just, and lasting peace. We base our approach squarely on the principle that the Arab-Israeli conflict should be resolved through negotiations involving an exchange of territory for peace. Defense Secretary Casper Weinberger arrived in the Mideast today. He visited United States Marines in Beirut and is preparing to discuss President Reagan's peace proposals with Israeli officials. On landing in Beirut, Mr. Weinberger said the U.S. Marines will pull out of Lebanon in a few days. Later, Weinberger flew to Tel Aviv, where he's expected to meet opposition to Mr. Reagan's proposals. Part of the Reagan plan calls for a freeze on any new Israeli settlements in the West Bank or Gaza Strip. The freeze was outlined in a letter sent from the president to Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin yesterday. Well, that letter caused Begin to cut short his vacation, triggered alarms in Israel, and Begin returned to Jerusalem. Begin has called an emergency cabinet meeting for tomorrow, after which he will talk with Weinberger. Israeli state radio said today the Begin cabinet is certain to reject President Reagan's letter. Meantime, PLO leader Yasser Arafat arrived in Greece today after a two-day sail from Beirut. Arafat said the PLO is considering declaring... Our channel 5, we're going to have complete highlights of President Reagan's speech to the nation tonight. The president outlined the new United States formula for peace in the Middle East. Mr. Reagan's address came after Defense Secretary Casper Weinberger arrived in Beirut, Lebanon. Weinberger is in Tel Aviv tonight, where he'll be discussing the new U.S. policy with Israeli leaders. Jojo Giorgiani, the convicted rapist, was ordered back to jail today. The judge reversed an earlier decision that prompted a public outcry. Closer to home, Orange County firefighters have now controlled a 600 acre brush blaze. An arson investigation is now in a way to that fire that threatened homes at one time earlier today. We've heard the running of the bulls, but well, what next? It's the running of the pigs in the Spanish marketplace. It's all coming up next on News of the
inside many cars, struggling to get out, trying to free itself, is another car. A lean machine. A car that gives the performance it was designed to give. To be responsive. To run clean. To drive smoothly. Help unleash your lean machine. Change to Chevron Gasoline. Chevron is a leader on the frontier of gasoline development. All grades of Chevron gasolines have our own patented cleansing additives for a responsive, efficient gasoline intake system to help you get a lean machine performance. The kind of performance your car was meant to give. The kind of performance it wants to give. Hidden inside many cars is another car. Help bring out the lean machine in your car with Chevron. The lean machine gasoline.